Good day dear students. In your class 7, you have studied about how do objects move. When a ball starts rolling on the ground, after some time it slows down and comes to rest. We have seen different objects moving around when we apply some force. In today's class, we will learn about force and pressure and subtopic force that is from chapter number 11. Force, a push or a pull. Forces are due to an interaction. A force can change the state of motion. Force can change shape of an object. Contact forces and non-contact forces. We all like to watch games. Now, we will watch highlights of football, hockey and cricket. We apply knowledge of science unknowingly while playing the games. In the videos, we have seen that in football, the goalkeeper stops the ball. In hockey, the player changes the direction of a moving ball with hockey stick. And in cricket, the fielders stop the ball hit by the batsman. Uh, in football, hockey and cricket, uh, we had seen that the ball is either made to move faster or slower or its direction of motion changes. Let us learn something about force. Force is a push or a pull on an object. Using force, we perform activities like picking, opening, shutting, kicking, heating, lifting, flicking, pushing and pulling. We have seen that force brings about some change in the motion of an object. Forces are due to interaction. In the picture, you can see that the man is standing behind the car. The car will not move. In the second picture, you can see that the car is being pushed by the man. Here, the car will move in the direction of the applied force. In the third case, the girls are pushing each other. And in the fourth picture, both girls are pulling each other. From all these examples, we can infer that at least two objects must interact for a force to come into play. Interaction of two objects results in a force between the two objects. Exploring forces. Let us learn something more about forces. In this picture, you can see that a table is being pushed by two friends in the same direction. In this case, we infer that Force is applied on an object in the same direction add to one another. Whereas in the second picture, we can see that the bench is being pushed by two friends in the opposite direction. In this case, we can conclude that if two forces act in the opposite directions of an object, then the net force is the difference between the two. In your school, you must have played game tug of war in which two teams pull the rope in opposite direction. In this game, members of both the teams try to pull the rope in their direction. The team that pulls harder wins the game, which means the winner has applied larger force. Force could be larger or smaller than the other. The strength of a force is usually expressed by its magnitude. If the direction or the magnitude of the applied force changes, its effect also changes. Force can change the state of the motion. Let us understand this by watching a video. In a penalty kick in football, initially the speed of the ball is zero and when the player applies force and makes the ball move towards the goal, the goalkeeper jumps or dives to save the goal, which means that he has applied a force on the moving ball 
and its speed decreases to zero. Here we can say that force applied on an object may change its speed. When the force is applied on the object in the direction of its motion, the speed of the object increases and if the force applied is in the direction opposite to the direction of motion, the speed of the object decreases. A change in either the speed of an object or its direction of motion or both is described as a change in its state of motion. State of motion of an object is described by its speed and the direction of motion. The state of rest is considered to be the state of zero speed. An object may be at rest or in motion, both are its state of motion. A force can change shape of an object. Let us understand this through some examples. In pressing a lump of dove, rolling of chapati, stretching of a rubber band, pressing of an inflated balloon and pressing of a football will result in change in their shape. From all the pictures that we have seen and all the videos, we can conclude that a force may make an object move from rest, may change the speed of an object if it is moving, may change direction of motion of an object, may bring about a change in the shape of an object. It may cause some or all of the above mentioned changes. After having learnt about force, let us now study something about different types of forces. The forces are categorized as contact forces and non-contact forces. Contact forces includes muscular force and friction. And non-contact forces include magnetic force, electrostatic force and gravitational force. Let us now study each of them in detail. In contact force, number one, muscular force. When we lift a bucket of water or a school bag, we are using our muscular force. This force is caused by the action of our muscles in our body. Animals like bullocks, camels, horses perform various tasks like pulling the cart, performing agricultural activities, etc. Muscular force can be applied only when it is in contact with the body. The second type of force is frictional force. You can ride a bicycle comfortably on the road or on the ground. This is possible because of friction between the tire and the ground or the road. And when you want to stop the bicycle, you can apply the brakes. Here, it is the force of friction between the brakes and the tire that opposes the motion of the tire. The force of friction acts on the moving object and it is always opposite to the direction of the moving object. Let's learn about non-contact forces. The first one, magnetic force. In class 6, you have studied about magnets, wherein you learnt like poles repel each other and unlike poles attract each other. Attraction and repulsion can be considered as a push and a pull. In this activity, you will see that a magnet can exert a force on another magnet without being in contact with it. Hence, the force exerted by magnet is a non-contact force. The second type of force is electrostatic force. Let us perform the activity to understand this concept better. Take a plastic straw, cut it into two pieces, tie a thread to one piece and suspend it from the edge of the table. Rub the other piece of straw on the paper and bring it near the one which is suspended. Note your observation. Now rub the suspended piece of straw on the paper. Bring the other piece of straw 
near the one that is hanging and note your observations in this activity you will see that a piece of straw is said to have acquired electrostatic charge after it has been rubbed with a sheet of paper the force exerted by a charged body on another charged body or an uncharged body is known as electrostatic force it is a non contact force the third type of force is gravitational force you all must have observed the flowers fall down from the trees the fruits the leaves we throw anything up it comes down to the earth let's understand what is this about when the stone is held in your hand it is at rest as soon as it is released it begins to move downwards it is clear that the state of motion of the stone undergoes a change object or things fall towards the earth because it pulls them this force is called the force of gravity or just gravity water begins to flow down towards the ground as soon as we open a tap or also water in rivers flows downwards due to the force of gravity gravity is not a property of the earth alone in fact every object in the universe whether small or large exerts a force on every other object this force is known as gravitational force we experience all this because earth pulls every object towards it by the force called force of gravity or gravitational force dear students we have learnt about the force types of different forces forces are due to an interaction force can change the state of motion the speed of an object by now you are clear with all these concepts refer your textbook try to understand the concept and complete table 11.2 from the textbook have a great day thank you